Yu Yu Hakusho episodes um, 91, no, 90 and 91. When we last left our heroes, Yusuke had just died. Everyone has feelings about this. Also, the door to the demon realm is opening up. Oh, okay, so. Kubar's ready. Oh, Hiei activates his dragon arm, and Kurama turns into demon version. Kubar is ready to die doing this. Hiei directly attacks the hole that's opening up. Um, and destroys a lot of the demons, but, um, what's his face? Sensui can kind of just like, whatever, I'm over it, deflect it from it himself. They all get knocked into the hole to the demon realm. So now they're all in the demon realm. This leaves Koenma there with, um, Sea Man and Yusuke's dead body. Sure, he wiped out a whole bunch of demons with that initial attack, but the really powerful ones are waiting for the opportune moment. Okay, so Kurama hasn't actually turned into his demon form, just his body has. He still has his Kurama voice. He doesn't have his Yoko Kurama voice. <laughs> Sensui has gone beyond the barrier, and he's like, the only way for you to get to me is if you cut through this barrier, Kubara. Good luck. Of course, if Kubara cuts through the barrier, then all the demons can come through. Kurama and Hiei are too powerful, they can't pass through the barrier without it being destroyed. Kubara doesn't bother really thinking about it, he just dives right in and cuts the barrier. Not sure if I agree with most of what's happening, but... Okay. <laughs> Botan has gone to talk to Enma to tell him about what's happened. Like, Koenma's dad. And Enma's like... <sighs> I guess I gotta do something now. He said something about a person being related to demons? Not quite sure. I assume we'll learn more later. So they mobilize the special defense squad and send them down to um, the human realm. They're the guys that go around the human realm and dispose of uh, yokai that have become dangerous. Back in the hole, um, they're still chasing after Sensui. He's like, come and join me in the demon realm. <laughs> As they enter the demon realm, um, Sensei is like, he's amazed, he's loving it, he has a flashback. And the other three are plummeting down towards the, the ground <laughs> of the demon realm. So they all grab onto Kurama. He's a butterfly! <laughs> what? I guess it's all about his, uh, plants. Sensei uses his key to keep him from plummeting and dying. They all land and they're like, all right, good, so let's keep fighting. Sensui says that out of respect for Yusuke, he's gonna go all out. So all of a sudden he like grows this armor. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie and say I don't love it, but it is a little silly. <laughs> Hiei goes for a second blast of his ultimate attack, which is really dangerous for him, but he does it anyway. Kubara goes in, Kurama goes in. Sensui knows that they already have, they're already assuming that they're going to lose. And they are. They they know that they can't defeat Sensui. They're just trying to at least, like, hurt him. So it looks really bad for them. That's the end of episode 90. Now for episode 91. They all try again. <laughs> they, they've been beaten and thrown aside several times, but they're not going to stop trying. Back in the human world, um, Keiko is, she can't get Pusuke to move. So she's like, does this, does this mean that something happened to Yusuke? Pusuke starts glowing and then, like, ascending. <laughs> What's happening? Pusuke! <laughs> Maybe Pusuke can bring Yusuke back to life. That'd be nice. Ken Koenma is standing over Yusuke's body and he's like, well, he's dead, but his spirit body hasn't risen up. He's, he's still intact. This is weird. That's when the, um, the defense squad appears. They're also called hunters. Oh gosh, they just flash everyone's names up on the screen. I'm not gonna learn these. Mm, nope, I refuse. <laughs> I refuse to even try. <laughs> so a couple of them are working to try to close the hole up. A couple of them go into the hole to fight off some of the demons. Then the, um, the mustache guy and a couple other guys go over to Koenma and they're like, Hey, buddy! <laughs> they want to take him back to the spirit realm, but Koenma's like, no, I have to finish doing this. I guess Mustache Guy has orders to destroy Yusuke, because I guess he's like part demon or something? He's the descendant of some demon? Meanwhile, Pusuke is like a bird now. We only got to see its shadow, we haven't seen it in its full majestic glory yet, but it looks pretty amazing. So you gotta go super far back into his family tree to find the demon there, but there is a demon there and it skips all these generations and it takes like really crazy random 
connections and, and splits and mitosis and all that stuff in order to make you have these demon powers, and Yusuke has that. So we didn't know about this beforehand, but then after we died and brought him back to life, it kind of put everything into overdrive. So we have to destroy him before he awakens as a demon and becomes evil. Seaman, who is also there, is like, you guys are being crazy. I mean, we know Yusuke. He is not like that at all. Look at how hard he's fought for humans. He would never be evil. They're like, shut up, curse up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> You're not part of this. And then Koenma gets too uppity as well, so they zap him too, and they're like, yeah, just stay over there, and I am gonna kill Yusuke. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, but now something's happening to Yusuke. He is awakening. And, oh, okay. His Reiki is turning into Yoki. So they all turn their attention towards him and try to fire and kill him. But that's when a giant bird appears. Is that Pusuke? <laughs> yeah, Pusuke protects the shit out of him. So now Yusuke's alive again and Pusuke is a bird. And, um... I guess, I guess he's a demon now? Pusuke's still cute, though. <laughs> Yusuke's like, yeah, I totally heard what you guys were talking about. That's interesting. Yusuke already seems quite comfortable in this new demon form, and he's like, I'll show you my true form. <laughs> I guess it was all a joke. He just, he just laughs at them and is like, no, that's not what I'm like at all. It's what you expect. <laughs> I was so nervous. That was really rude. He really wants to just go into the demon realm and help his friends. And Koima wants to go too, so they both jump onto Pusuke and beat up the hunters, and then they take off. So a bunch of the hunters are still standing at where the barrier was broken, and they're like, no yokai are gonna come here, they're too afraid of us, ha 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 ha. And then they feel the, the presence of Yusuke approaching, and they're like, holy crap, where did this demon come from? We don't know what. And they go right by them into the demon realm. And it's good that he's showing up now because Sensui has totally defeated our three heroes, Hiei, Kurama, and Kuwabara. And they're just like, who just killed us already? Oh, this is annoying. Sensui senses something very strong coming out of the hole and he's like, what could that possibly be? And Yusuke's there for the rematch! All right, wow, well, episode uh, 91 is finished. The next Yu Yu Hakusho video will be a triple feature of the last three episodes of this arc, 92, 93, and 94. And then I'll be moving into the Three Kings arc, which is the final arc. See you next time for all that. Bye!